Hey, what's going on everybody? Uh, welcome to our next gear review video. Um, what I have here for you today is a new to me product. Um, it is the head hauler from Velvet Antler Technologies. So I'm going to show you what I got, what they got, not me. Wish I would have thought of this. Um, what they got going on here. So I got my pack here. I'll unbuckle this. And this head hauler. I just leave it strapped on my pack, honestly. And it'll it'll fit on a lot of packs. I have the uh, Horn Hunter pack here, and it fits super good. Um, kind of matches the same color. Looks to me like maybe they worked with them a little bit. Um, but what we got here is we have a device that goes on your pack on the outside, so you don't have to worry about using the straps on your pack uh, to haul your skull or your head out uh, after you make a harvest. So works fits about any animal um, I originally got it because we were going bear hunting and uh, my plan was to fit the hide and everything in the skull all underneath this but so it allows you to pack everything that you usually do and then keep that head on the outside with good connectors and I'll show you that here in a second um, but it's got a bunch of good connection points so that head sits there and it's tight and it doesn't wobble for you so what we would do here and it's going to be a little bit different because obviously I don't have a full pack here. Um, but let's say I got this thing closed up. Okay, and you can see this here. Okay, it's shaped here so it, that skull goes right in there. Um, but you would tighten it as needed. The straps are super long. Um, if I had to pick a thing I didn't like about it, I guess that would be it was the straps are a little bit long but if you had a big full pack and you were miles back in there for days um, you would need those long straps because you'd be sticking out quite a ways obviously so so what we would do um, is you take your skull and you'd set it on there and that thing literally just fits right over it the skinny part goes right over the top of the skull like so and it's got two straps on top so you're going to take this buckle and really it doesn't necessarily matter where you strap it to. Um, honestly, I can't remember. I think I just strapped it right here to this. But you're just going to find a secure location on, on the top of your pack there. I'm doing it to some, some buckles, just the loops on some buckles. There we go. I think I messed that one up. There we go. So I got, got it tight on there. And then you just pull that thing tight. Okay, so I like to tighten mine from the top first. So I have the top tight. Okay, so my skull's sitting on there. And then these two straps, we got two, and they actually come around your antler. And again, it's just kind of personal preference my packs probably gonna be a little bit wider than this but I'm gonna find a secure location down here we'll just call it right there for for, for now hey babe got kids you know what that's all about okay so I'm gonna take this other side extend it I am doing a video babe so you want me to stay back here yeah you're good let's just be quiet so I can tell them all about this head hauler, all right? I'm gonna tighten that down just a little bit. Okay. Tighten these bottoms down. Um, again, you're gonna have more stuff in here than, like this is literally nothing. You're gonna have a cape, you're gonna have meat, you're gonna have something here. So it, it is gonna be tighter when you use it out in the field. Okay, but this one, then there's some that are on the bottom and they're gonna, so they're gonna kinda come around each antler if you can see that very well. I'll get you close up here in a second. Okay, and I'm gonna bring it up, and what I do, I actually take this bottom one and I hook it right to my other carabiner on the top. Um, I don't know that they necessarily designed it to work that way, but I just hook it right on and it kinda of just pulls them both down. It works pretty nice. Okay, so I got that thing tight. And so, you, as you can see, I have this skull in here and that thing is tight and I have literally nothing else in my pack. So 
Like there's not really anything to keep it tight. It's not like I have a bunch of other stuff pushing against it. But that thing is tight in there and that is not going anywhere, okay? And the, obviously the bigger your pack is, the more things you have in your pack, the tighter that's gonna be. But you can fit that school on there anyway. So some guys like it face down. Maybe if it's, if it's awkward down and sticking out at a goofy angle, um, you could flip that skull over. Those antlers would then come up behind you, or excuse me, they'd come up towards the front of you rather than sticking out backwards. So there's a lot of ways to kind of make it suit your, your needs, however, or whatever those are. Um, but it's super easy to work with, and it doesn't weigh anything, so it's not weighing you down, but it's an extra strap on the back, especially if you're out in the back country um, and you got already 50, 60 pounds on your back overnight. Um, well, probably you got that much. I hope you're doing more than one night, but if you're five or six days back in there, um, you're going to need all your other pack space and all your other straps and you're going to want something on the outside. So again, that is the head hauler by Velvet Antler Technologies. Again, you can see how this thing, these two straps here, they crisscross here. And they would just wrap right around that antler, make that super tight. So again, super tight. Excuse me. So again, Velvet Antler Technologies. Make sure you go check those guys out. They got a lot of other great products too. Um, just off the top of my head, they have a hide lock, which preserves your hide so the hair doesn't fall out, if, especially in warm conditions. Trying to get it to the taxidermist, that's a great product. Um, they have the velvet lock, so you're shooting things in velvet, especially this time of year. Um, I wanted to get this video out a little sooner you guys but I've been busy so I know we're coming up on hunting season so if you're gonna get one of these you need to find it and get on it because you're gonna want one of these in September October November especially up in those mountains you're gonna really enjoy this product so make sure you go check them out that is velvetantlertechnologies.com or at velvetantlertechnologies on Instagram and I'm gonna drop you real quick right there their Instagram handle so you can find that um, and then also make sure you go check out our shop uh, that's the seasonsmedia.com we are about to run a bunch of sales coming up into the fall so make sure you go check those out find yourself some seasons media gear hey we got a sweet western logo here and then we got our original logo that we got we got hats we got hoodies we got t-shirts um, we don't always stock those so when we're running a sale and we're gonna do an order you're going to want to jump on that when you have the opportunity so we appreciate all of your support thank you everybody for watching and tuning in again velvet antler technologies good guys i worked or talked with them a lot at some show at a show and uh great guys with great products and just working their butts off to to support our industry so make sure you go check them out and we'll catch you on our next video thanks for watching everybody